Hey guys, this is going to be a quick demo showing you guys how I personally use Chat Playground. I have my screen on the top right, so don't mind me looking up. So the first tool that we have that I constantly use every day, which has basically been serving me as a replacement for ChatGPT, which is AI Playground. AI Playground gives you access to all of the premium AI models, and you can compare them in one interface. So every day, whenever I have a question, I'll submit that question to all of these AI models so I can compare all the different perspectives. So I have an example here. I'm going to ask them to help me make this description for a WhatsApp group for Chat Playground. And I'm kind of going to read all of the answers and pick out the best one. So let's see the output they give us. So here we have a few different outputs. So when I read the ChatGPT one, it's giving me like a simple answer. It works, but it's not the best. Same thing with perplexity. And then here, this is pretty good. This would work. But then Gemini just blows out all of them out of the park just because it's really neatly set up and they have these emojis. So I would probably stick with this. And this is the importance behind why you should use multiple chatbots, because if you're only using ChatGPT, you're really limiting yourself. And I'm using this tool like 10 times a day at least. And then we have Document Editor, which is an AI writing assistant. So here I was just writing a, a blog about how I compared all of these different LLMs to see which one is the best. And then I kind of had the AI writing assistant continue writing for me and help me generate more ideas. And whenever I needed to improve some of my writing, I would press improve or shorten or expand. And you can also add images. And you also have these templates that you could choose from, mainly for businesses. And then the third feature that I use is this learning companion. I'll be honest, I don't use the flashcards as much or the AI notes, but I really love chatting with YouTube videos and PDFs. So I was actually just watching this podcast, which had a very interesting thumbnail. Can 10 people with AI build a billion dollar company? But I wanted to get to the meat of the video really quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and chat with the YouTube video. <coughs> and can you summarize this video for me? Let's see what they say. So the question of the video is, can 10 people build a billion dollar company? So let's see. Do the speakers believe that people with AI Based on the conversation, it seems that the speakers are open to the idea that with the help of AI, it's possible for a small team, even as small as 10 people, to build a billion dollar company. So essentially, it would have took me 40 minutes watching this podcast to kind of get to that meat of the video. But having this chat assistant is very helpful. But the tool that I use most on my day to day is this Web Copilot. So let me show you how that works. Um, so Web Copilot, you can open it up alongside your browser. And this way, you don't have to navigate between two between ChatGPT and another browser, ask your question, copy and paste. You just have your co-pilot right here alongside you and it makes things way more convenient. And so let me show you the really interesting parts of this feature. The first one is AI vision. So whenever I'm actually stuck or have a question, what I could just do is I can, for example, this is gonna be a very basic example, but I can just take a screenshot and ask about whatever I just screenshotted. The other feature we have is these workflows that you can set up. So within your settings, I have a few workflows set up where if I ever run into something, I can just prompt AI to do whatever I want through my browser. So here, for example, I have a LinkedIn post generator prompt and I have this workflow set up where whenever I come across an article that I like and I wanna share it on LinkedIn, what I'll do is I'll actually refresh the page first and then I will ask it to use the page content. And I already have this prompt set up as LinkedIn post generator and then it will automatically make me a post that I can share on LinkedIn. So here it is. And then you can copy and paste the post. Another way we're using this feature is for our customer service. So here I have a customer support ticket that I need to reply to. So I'll go ahead and highlight it. I have a customer support prompt and my AI writing assistant is gonna come up with a reply and I can just copy and paste it and boom. So these are this is how I personally use Chat Playground. The main features are being able to access all these premium AI models for one price versus paying $100 to access all of them, $100 a month. And then also being able to compare and having this AI assistant that you could set up prompt engineering workflows throughout the web. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you can make something out of this, out of this and create your own workflows.